Hola, I'm Daisy Martinez on eHow.com. Today, I'm going to be making Bisto Manchego, a delicious ratatouille-like dish chock full of delicious veggies from the La Mancha region of Spain. I've gone ahead and fried some potatoes to a nice golden brown, seasoned them with salt and pepper. What's better than fried potatoes? Not a whole lot, yummy. I have some olive oil here in my pan, and to that I'm going to add some um, onion and some sliced garlic. I'm going to go ahead and add some fresh thyme, a couple of sprigs, just to bring it, make it really bloom and blossom. I have some fresh oregano too, not a whole lot. Oregano is one of those herbs that can really be overpowering in a dish. So about a teaspoon, and we're gonna chop that. Hit that. I'm just going to continue to cook this until the onions start to soften a little bit. I'm gonna lower the heat because I don't want my onions to burn. Now the herbs are really, really fragrant. The uh, onion is just starting to soften up. It's starting to get a little translucent, but it still has enough bite. I'm gonna go ahead and raise, raise the heat. And to that, we're going to add some beautiful, sweet red and yellow bell peppers. Do we need yellow peppers? No, but how awesome is this going to look with those yellow peppers? And bisto is very similar to that French word, bistou, which means uh, finely chopped vegetables, like in bistou soup, where they make those, those beautiful little tiles of veggies. I want these, the bell peppers to get a little soft, but not mushy. When I eat this dish, I like, each, I like to, to taste uh, each vegetable, for each vegetable to have its own integrity. And I like the mouthfeel of a toothsome veggie, not like mushy veggies. So you guys can see that I went ahead and fried my potatoes to give them texture uh, in, this, in this pan, and I saved the oil because the oil from the potatoes adds uh, a beautiful nuance, another level layer to the dish. I love that. That's how I love to cook, like building it as a structure. Now the peppers are heated through and they're starting to look shiny and tender crisp. And to that, I'm going to add my zucchini. You could also add a combination of um, green squash, yellow zucchini with like yellow summer squash. And we're doing this at high heat pretty much. Let's start adding our seasonings. Okay, a lot of times you'll come across a pisto manchego where people will put in um, like a can of cooked tomatoes and make this almost like a thick, soupy, like a ratatouille. I like the freshness that, th that my take on pisto manchego uh, gives. And so once I have the vegetables heated through, I don't want the zucchini to get mushy. So once I have the, the zucchini heated through, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and add my potatoes. And now the potatoes are soaking all of those delicious juices that the onion and the garlic and the peppers and the zucchini let out. Are you getting the picture? It's a community effort. Woo! And that's smelling like something now. So the very last thing that I'm going to add to my pisto, being true to the components, but I'm taking a little liberty with the style, is I'm going to add some sliced cherry tomatoes. I'm not going to let this stew. I'm just going to give this a quick stir, heat it through. And this really is a one pot meal. You could easily make this dinner. 
just a couple of, uh, of minutes to heat the tomatoes through. I don't want the tomatoes to, to pucker up and die. We're going to turn the heat off. I like to serve this just like this, but you know what would really make it perfect and just the end of everything? A couple of fried eggs on top. That would make it Spanish in a way like nobody's business. <laughs> I'm Daisy Martinez, and we're doing Pista Manchego for eHow.com.